Now, even if we've talked about this lens in previous videos, we haven't actually looked at it in detail. So let's take a closer look at the Pentax 50mm f1.7 SMC. Now, this lens was produced between 1977 and 1984. It consists of six glass elements in five groups, and we've got six aperture blades with a range between f1.7 and f22. And we've got a nice aperture ring and the focus ring is really nice and smooth. It accepts 49 millimeter filters and we've got a Pentax K mount and it comes in at 185 grams or 6.5 ounces. Now it's actually a really compact lens, but with the lens adapter, it makes it pretty easy to maneuver even for me with my pretty big hands. Now, this isn't one of those hyped up vintage lenses that makes you question whether it's worth spending all that money on something just to see what it's about. You can get one of these on eBay for somewhere between 15 and $20, and you should be able to find a lens adapter for about the same amount. Now, I like to shoot wide open at f1.7 with this lens, and to me, it's sharp enough most of the times. I might stop down to f2.8, and if you stop it down to like 5.6, it becomes really crisp and sharp. At the same time, you're not losing a lot of that character when you stop down. And another thing is that you might see some haloing or some blooming. And that's just part of the thing with these older lenses and the types of coatings. They're not as good anti-reflectance as uh, contemporary glass. Now, you might come across some purple fringing here and there. To me, it's not a big deal, especially for video. And if you're shooting stills, I mean, these days it's so easy to remove in post. So, eh, not a big deal. Now the big question, will it bokeh? It will. Now, I guess it always comes down to personal preference, but me, personally, I really enjoy the type of bokeh I get from this lens. Now, if we compare it to something like the Canon 50mm f1.8 Mark II, there's clearly a difference. But when I'm shooting with these types of vintage lenses, I want that characterful bokeh. Now, here's a comparison between the Canon 50mm f1.8 Mark II and the Pentax 50mm f1.7. And me personally, I think I like the bokeh of the Mark II more than the newer STM version. The Mark II seems to have a bit more character, but then again, personal taste. Now, here's some more shots with the Pentax, and all of these are taken with my Fujifilm X-T4. And this is by far my favorite combo, that Fujifilm system and those kind of colors and that style with these vintage lenses makes it really, really nice. And I'll definitely make a video about this one here as well. Now, this one is the 35mm f2.8, and the 50 along with the 35 are such a great combo, and who knows, I might just end up getting the 40 and the 85 as well to have a nice set of matched primes. Now, what's your favorite prime or focal length? Let me know in the comment section down below. And with that said, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. Make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!